Sugar Hill Stewart is with us on the program. Hello. Hello, how are you? Yes, we're good, thank you. Cheers for coming. Uh, get close and comfortable with Spencer. Uh, not, a, not a difficult thing to do. Uh, I know you've been training Ben in Miami ahead of his debut, his pro debut this weekend. Um, what have you changed about him? What have you? What was your influence been on his style? And what do you expect? Well, not really changing anything, just uh, working and fixing on things, making things a lot sharper. Uh, ben is already a highly decorated amateur fighter, uh, reaching one of the pinnacles of, you know, silver medalists in the Olympics. And, uh, you know, just, just, you know, making him a lot stronger and just aware of more, um, you know, more things to expect as a in the professional level. Yeah, so I was, I was speaking, we just had Ben on and he was, you know, I said to him, you're very elusive and all over the place and very unpredictable. But I said, what is... What has Sugar implemented in your style? And he said, you've said you got him to sit down on his shots a little bit more and, and plant his feet a little bit more. He said, and that's the, that's the thing that's been missing from his style. Yeah, he's always been a, an elusive mover, a very good footwork athletic. Uh, but, you know, when you do that, sometimes you lose the, the ability to sit down on your punches. And, and sitting down on your punches is not what everyone thinks it is. It's, it's a little bit more technical than that. That's why we have to work on it so that he can keep his speed but still be able to sit down on his punches and get that big knockout. Uh, you've been around some great fighters, Adonis Stevenson, the Furies, even back in the day, Tommy Hearns. And, you know, you've got vast experience. So the new fighters that you're working with, the younger fighters that are coming through, receptive to receiving that information? Yes, they are. Um, it's just, uh, it's just uh, the understanding to slow down from what you've been doing to learn something new and, and to implement that into what you've already been doing. That's all. It's not that difficult, but some people do have difficulties with it because everyone's comprehension level and learning level is different. So it just takes different kinds of teachings. And, and those are the things that I have to go through with each person because they're all individually different. It's, uh, it's just my teaching methods. It's, it's not all the same for everyone. Sam mentioned some of the great parties that you've worked there with in the past. How good do you rate Ben Whitaker with the, with those other guys? Do you do you see the potential in him? Is he got that star quality where you think he's not just going to win a world title, but he could be a superstar? Well, I'm 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 uh, my my idea is a superstar. That's uh, it's what I said before, similar to like a, a Roy Jones a junior type of fighter. That kind of excitement, but to still get that knockout. He has a character outside of the ring. And his personality is just uh, it's, it's a nice, pleasant person to be around. He's still learning, learning, to do, you know, how to deal with the public and different people in different situations. But, you know, all that comes with life. So he's learning life and, and maturing and growing. It's interesting that you say that because one of the things that Ben said to us when he was on just a moment ago was that not only have you been influential in the way that he approaches fights and his style and fixing those little things that you mentioned, but he says he, you've always been a bit of a father figure to him as well. What do you make of that? I'm uh, just making, he's talking about these things right here. These big saber tooth tiger teeth. <laughs> 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 uh, no, I, I've been around the boxing my whole life and uh, you know just me being around Emmanuel and the people that he was around in boxing uh, you know all the avenues from the top to the bottom so I've seen it all he's taught me a lot and uh, I'm just uh, you know I'm doing what he did for me the the, the, the boxing team crunk and and uh, the way I was raised it was all a family so if I um, you know, if I'm I'm getting older now, so if I'm more like a father figure, then then that's fine with me because at some point in my life I was taught these things, and it's it's only fair enough for me to pass it on to the next generation so they can pass it on. Yeah, I mean, look, you, you mentioned the uh, iconic Cronk gym that you worked in, and of course you are the nephew of the former uh, international boxing hall of fame trainer Emmanuel Stewart, um, trainer and manager, because he would correct you on that too. He always says. I'm a man. I was manager too. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Listen, I'm not arguing with him. He he's the don. He can tell me whatever he wants. But you were, you know, you're obviously a, a a former Detroit police officer. You worked as a chef as well. You had a varied career before going into boxing on a on a full time basis. Obviously, you were around it a lot when you were were younger as well. Um, do you think that you sort of benefited from those experiences? And when you're talking to fighters, you can draw on those real life job experiences when trying to convey how important certain things are and the aspects of the of the art of boxing? I definitely do think that the things that happened in my life brought me to this point and it allows me to relate and to understand, uh, you know, people, you know, from all aspects of life. Uh, you mentioned a few things that I've done 
in my life, uh, I've also did some things that you didn't mention. So those things helped me also <laughs> to relate to people and understand different situations and, and their backgrounds and, and how they think. So I'm very happy and very fortunate and blessed also to be uh, to have gone through these things in my life and I wouldn't change anything.